Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I moved one of the uh, single chairs underneath the lemon tree. So, uh, it's actually quite nice, or well, it will be when they've finished building the road or the wall. I found Dodgers last night. She was, I heard her first, and she came back to down the end where she normally is. I'd been down there earlier, but there was no sign of her. So she was vocal, hungry, uh, all that got sorted out and she was back this morning. So she's okay. She's got fresh, I took her a bowl of fresh water down there. She's good. Don't know what happened for those few days, but uh, as I say, she's safe. Mum cat, I got, she got fed this morning, but the babies have been moved again. Uh, the shattering or part of the end part of it is all lying on the floor so it was strong winds last night it looks like it's been moved so but i didn't see the babies this morning uh what else momo has developed um, a black spot patch to the side of her eye so I need to see the bet later. And also find out about Dipper and his pills long term and tell her about his eye. I don't think there's anything that can be done about his, the eye. It's deteriorating, it's been deteriorating for some time. It's sad, but we'll deal with it. Just have to talk to him, reassure him and you know, he knows where everything is. When a cat goes blind, even if a cat has had partial sight and it goes blind, it's a completely different ball game to when they are born blind. I had it with a cat called Patch. He was one-eyed and when he was 12, he went blind completely. And although he kept, although he dealt with it, and he was, he was here when he went blind, he never had the same confidence as the other babies that were born blind. He went around slowly, and we, he just took everything slowly. He wouldn't climb up trees. He climbed up onto the rock, the small rock in the garden that you all know, um, but he never, he never went up any height. The only thing that he was that stood out with Patch, compared to the blind cat, he loved being picked up, and he would be picked up by strangers that came to the house. He didn't mind because he'd always loved being picked up when he could see. The blind cats will not be. As soon as a stranger, if a stranger comes into the house for any, any reason, uh, they go low to the floor and they run. So I can't have people just turning up. I have to say to them, even if it's a delivery, I will meet them at the gate and say, listen, just let me get the cats put in because they uh, are terrified. William is one of the worst. You know, as brave as he is with stray cats, with people or new voices, new sounds. Uh, as I say, he goes down low to the floor and they run off. And that's when accidents happen. They'll run into walls in a panic to get away. Something I've never been able to, uh, to change. I mean, the other day with the cement mixer, when it went on and the blind cats didn't panic. But a person is completely different. I wonder if it's in their instincts. Don't know. Question for another day. So, yeah, that's where we are. Our Dodgers is safe. Momo's needs investigation, and uh, Dipper need to keep an eye on. So we will see you all again very soon, everyone.